Hi everybody, this is Taz. Welcome to Taz's Wig Closet today. Are you ready to stop traffic? I hope so. This is the new Stop Traffic Design and Style by Raquel Welt, brand new for spring 2017. And today I am showing you Stop Traffic in the color SS 1524 Shadow Shades Champagne. Now a lot of these colors are currently on back order. Um, in this style as you might expect from a brand new style. Heather at Sister Wig sent me this one to review and if anybody hasn't checked out the Sister Wigs uh, blog, please go out and take a look. Um, there are so many ladies out there that love to share their opinions and photos about wigs um, and they just don't do YouTube videos. So a lot of these women go out to SisterWigs.com and submit their blog posts. So there's a lot of information out there um, check it out. So the color uh, SS 1524 Shadow Shades Champagne. This reads very gold. Um, you're not seeing things. So it is uh, considered to be a beige blonde base with lots of gold blended uh, medium gold in there and then a medium brown root. Um, let me just give you my impressions straight out of the box. Very, very shiny wig. Um, and that's probably because of the color. A lot of times with these blondes, you will find, especially the gold blondes, you will find that they're very shiny. Um, I took some dry shampoo to this and there still might be a little bit of a shine. I know that once I wear this a couple days and after I wash it, um, this shine is going to go away and it's just going to leave a nice healthy looking um, fiber. So uh, very shiny right out of the box. Uh, the other thing about this right out of the box is that um, the wig seems very choppy and piecey, especially in the manufacturer's photos, and that wasn't the case for this wig when it came out of the box. It was more of a gentle wave effect, um, and the bangs were kind of straight down. And my initial, uh, when I initially started to work with this wig, I just kind of flipped it away from my face and that wasn't working at all. Um, so with this wig you're gonna have to work with the grain of the, the way the fibers are sewn in and that is to sort of blend it more towards into the face. You see how these waves just want to move in towards the face? You want that uh, because it really does frame the face so nicely with these shaggy layers. The other thing is with the bangs uh, they're contoured so nicely in a way that they sort of curve just above the eyebrow. Um, I love these bangs. I'm not a real big bang person, but the way they're blended in here with all of these layers, it just looks fantastic. And I really love bangs because you're not swiping them out of your face. You don't have to pull them up and pin them um, if you're out working or during the day, you know, whatever. It's just so effortless. So what I did with the um, with the texture, to bring out the texture again, I'm bringing out this awesome, real expensive water here. <laughs> so just dousing that with the water is going to bring out the pieciness and the layers and uh, so you're going to be able to get some of that look that you see in the manufacturer's photos. I know that Raquel Welch is wearing this color and this wig in those photos. So it's pretty heavily styled, I would say. That's not going to come to you that way. You're going to have to work at it a little bit. But you can already see where this water is just really creating some of this lovely texture. All right, so uh, I am really, really loving this wig. I wore it yesterday. My family went out. We went out to see a movie, and I did some uh, vlogging in the car. It's the first time I've ever, ever done that. Um, so I'll, I'll attach this to the end of that video so that you can see just somebody out and about in this wig. So let's talk about the specs on this wig a little bit. So the bangs are about four and a half inches, and like I said, they're so nicely contoured, so well blended into this shaggy style, all this texture. Um, the back 
or the crown is supposed to be 10 inches and then 7 inches off of the nape. I'm getting a read of about 12, maybe 12 inches, 13 inches at the most, just because of all this texture and weight. There's so many layers going on here, it's real hard to get a lot of good measurement there. So the cap, and I'll show you an inside look at the cap here in just a moment. The cap is um, what they call a memory cap 3, which is a little bit of innovation. Um, and you'll see what I mean when I show you the inside of the cap, but it's super comfortable. Um, it is basically just an open cap, but there is a, maybe a, a 50 cent piece size uh, piece of monofilament there that's hand knotted. And I'll try to get you, get you up close here so you can kind of see. So I don't look at the top of my head very much, but I imagine a lot of people do just because I'm so short. So I'm thinking that's probably a good idea. A lot of times when you see a mono crown, it's just a little dime size, nickel size. And this one is, is pretty large. So even if you wanted to um, pluck that a little bit to give even more realism to that area, um, you probably could. And then it's, like I said, open cap. There is a hidden weft there at the front, so if you wanted to do some styling away from the face, I think that would be uh, a, a good option. I don't think that would be a dead giveaway. It would, it's very nicely obscured. The, the wig line is very nicely obscured. Um, and it's just very, very comfortable. One thing I can say about this cap is that it's very stretchy. Um, if you have less than a 21 inch or 21 and a half inch circumference, you might find this a little large. I had to take in the Velcro adjusters as far as they would go on this cap um, to fit me. And it's, it's very comfortable and I don't sense that it's uh, moving around or anything. It's just a, a pretty large cap, which is going to appeal to a lot of people because the average cap size is around 22 inches, which would be perfect. But I think it can stretch nicely up to 23 inches, I really do. So um, let's talk about this texture. All of these shaggy layers, um, this is very in vogue right now. Um, all of this wavy texture, and I love it. I'll never, I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. But uh, this one is a little bit different. It's not completely um, coiled. It's, it, it has multiple layers to it. It's a little longer than some shaggy styles. It has bangs, which is a little different. And I think what we'll do then is I'll take you through a comparison of uh, Dylan by Tony of Beverly, which is another real cute, almost the same length, nice shaggy cut with that. And then I'll show you a Wave Cut by Hairdo. And then uh, real quick, let me grab my Zuma. Zuma's right here. This is Renee of Paris's Zuma. And this is really textured to the extreme. I love it. Um, so I don't think it's quite as textury and, and layered as the Zuma. So even if you like the texture of the Zuma, but you're not crazy about the overall style, you might actually really enjoy stop traffic. Again, Zuma has a bit of a longer bang on it. Lace front and left mono part. That was a little bit of an impromptu. I wasn't expecting to show you this, but when I was playing with this texture, it just kind of reminded me of Zuma, which I love this wig, by the way. So the price. Um, let's talk about price. The price, the retail price on Stop Traffic is $1.99. Um, when we talk about Dylan, I think that one's $274. And then when we talk about the hairdo wave cut, it's only $84. So we're going to see a lot of different price points and compare some colors. I do think that this uh, Shadow Shade Champagne is very reminiscent of uh, a lot of people's favorite color in the hairdo line, which is that SS1488 a Golden Wheat. So we'll take a look at that. I'll go ahead and do a spin and a walk for you, and I want you to notice the hallmark of this style, which is all of this lovely texture um, and all of this amazing movement.
The fibers are very silky and feathery light. Uh, some fibers can come across kind of rough, especially if they have a lot of texture to them, um, such as the uh, wave cut that I'll show you next. But this one is super soft. Here we are with the inside of the cap of Raquel Welch Stop Traffic. This cap is very, very stretchy, like I mentioned. Um, the innovation that I'm talking about, this is actually called the Memory Cap 3, which is the first time that I've seen this type of cap construction and materials used. But if the camera is picking this up, you notice that there's silicone, stretch silicone on these wefts. And I'm told that that is to create a very custom fit. So the, the more you wear it, the more it will be uh, the more it will uh, mold to your head and be ultra comfortable. I've always enjoyed Raquel Welch caps. You can see that I have this particular one cinched all the way in with my 21 and a half inch circumference. This is very large on me. So um, if you do have a larger circumference or average, I think this would fit you very well. If you're more petite than 21 and a half, you may have problems with the fit. Um, awesome. Um, ear tabs, nape. Now the front of it is also a little bit different. I've never seen this before. So you've got the closed rose lace top and then just a bit of an oasis of uh, monofilament here at the very top. Not necessarily at the crown, but at the very top. And I don't look at the top of my head very much, um, but if somebody is taller than me, and most people are, um, and they have to be looking down, they're gonna see the illusion of scalp. And the front of this wig, even though uh, it is a closed rose lace and doesn't have any monofilament lace there at the top, there is a bit of a hidden weft there, uh, which does obscure that wig line very nicely. Okay, so I did a review on Dylan by Tony of Beverly, and you can find that in my uh, video library. Um, but this is just another cute, medium length, shaggy cut that I would definitely compare to stop traffic. The specs are almost identical uh, in weight and length, except for uh, just a bit of a longer bang on Dylan. <clears throat> and also Dylan does feature the lace front and mono top. So you're gonna see a big difference in price. Approximately $274 for Dylan and retail on uh, stop traffic is about $199. Although stop traffic does have a little bit of monofilament there at the crown. <clears throat> okay, so the color on Dylan is rooted vanilla and it's described as being a pale ash blonde with pale gold blonde highlights <clears throat> and a medium brown root. So compared to the shadow shades champagne, it's a bit brighter there are more um, pale, even almost platinum highlights going through the rooted vanilla color. Both wigs do tend to give off a, a golden appearance as opposed to an overall ashy read. Okay, so this is my wave cut by Hairdo in the color SS1488, which is the golden wheat. Um, so we want to compare these colors. So the golden wheat is a, a gold blonde, a medium gold blonde with some pale gold blonde highlighting, and then the medium brown root. It's very reminiscent of this color here with the Shadow Shades Champagne uh, by Raquel Welch, I do think this is a bit brighter. Both the gold tones and the pale blonde tones in the Shadow Champagnes just seem to be a lot brighter. You're gonna notice that this is a lot shinier too because it's synthetic, um, non-heat friendly synthetic, but then the uh, hairdo wave cut is heat friendly synthetic. So there definitely is a difference in the overall sheen and shine 
of the fibers. Now this is not a brand new wig. I've worn this several times and this is a brand new wig so and it has not been washed yet. So I am stopping traffic today. <laughs> My husband thinks that's funny. Because he doesn't realize that's the name of this wig. Okay, now you got me. <laughs> Raquel Welch stopping traffic or stop traffic. Stop traffic. Is it cute? Do you I, like it? Look that wig? I do. I think yeah. this wig looks good. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take stop traffic out for a little spin so I did create some texture in this much like the manufacturers photos and all I did was I took some uh, water and I sprayed it on to bring out all of this texture and then I used a bit of wig spray to kind of just cement that in a little bit that way when it dries it just it keeps all of that wonderful texture I love the length, it's just below the collar. And the movement, it's so light. I love the way it moves.